And students who take the SAT will no longer be tested on just their math and verbal skills. The College Board, the company that administers the exam, is adding another score that will look at the adversity students face in their life. News 8's Jordan Fremstead joins us with more on how the score will impact students who take the test. Although the SAT is not the most popular college admissions exam, more than 2 million students take the test every year. Educators are learning more about the impacts a person's childhood can have on their future. UW Lacrosse Chancellor Joe Gao says students are more than just a test score, but he is not sold on that an adversity score is the best way to measure a student's potential. The SAT is a tool that shows what a student has learned in reading and math, but the College Board is putting a new score to the test. What it doesn't measure alone is it doesn't measure what you've overcome, the situation that you achieved that in. David Coleman, chief executive of the College Board, the company that administers the test, told CBS this morning they are trying to look deeper into a student's background. What the, we can do with this context data is see how resourceful you are. Have you done more with less? The official name for the score is the Environmental Context Dashboard. Many are calling it the Adversity Score. That will look at 15 factors, including things like the student's family income, family structure, housing in the community, and crime. The higher the number, the higher the adversity. UW Lacrosse Chancellor Joe Gao is not sure this is the right way to look at adversity. I am a little skeptical. I, I, I think that's something that you know might not be able to be quantified. He says UW Lacrosse wants to accept students based on multiple factors, not just a test score. We make a decision based on their academic achievements, also the quality of the high school, the rigor of the curriculum. Have they been in leadership activities? Do they come from a disadvantaged background or traditionally underrepresented? He says the university doesn't want to put anyone in a position to fail. It would serve no one uh, any purpose to admit somebody who couldn't get it done in the classrooms. Lacrosse School District officials say only about 10 students take the SAT every year. The ACT is the more popular test and does not currently offer an adversity score. Thanks a lot, Jordan. A trial version of the adversity score is already being tested by 50 colleges.